Hello and welcome into this week's RNN Diecast review right here on Racing News Now. As always, I'm your host, Garth Allen. Thank you once again for joining me today. If this is your first time catching a Racing News Now video, consider going down below to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from RNN. On this week's Diecast review, like I said last week, not quite getting back into 2019s yet. That will resume next week. Uh, but for this week, just picked this one up in my collection uh, not too long ago. Hadn't had a chance to review it yet. Hadn't found a place to slip it into the uh, diecast review rotation until now. Uh, but I think this one is, is definitely worth a review, definitely worth a look. And uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. You know what this is. You can see the box plain as day. You've seen the title. It is Chase Elliott's 2016 Canon West Sonoma winner. Take a look at the box here. Picture of uh, Chase's car and Chase in Victory Lane on the top. Sonoma Raceway, Lionel Racing, all that fun jazz. Bouncing over a curb here, Sonoma Raceway and the render of the car. Production sticker on this side, one of 637 in the Platinum Series. On the back, Chase in Victory Lane and the k and Pro Series logo. And on this side, another render of the car. All that fun jazz on the bottom as well. I miss these kind of boxes. I really do. I don't really have a problem with the current window boxes, but I, I, I like those boxes a lot better. I really wish those would come back. Maybe I'm in the minority there. I don't know. The only thing that comes in the box is the race winner card. Chase Elliott, Chevy's Fresh Mex 200 winner, second Canon Pro Series victory. On the back, Elliott prepares for his first Sonoma start in dramatic fashion. And you can pause to read that if you want to. All right, on to the main attraction of the day. It is the car itself, and it is a beautiful car on a Gen 4 mold, so you know I like what I'm seeing here. Under the hood, just the Chevy bow tie. Um, I'm assuming this is rubber buildup or something. I don't really know what this is under the hood here. Um, I mean, it's, it's paint of some sort because I can't rub it off. So I don't know if that's just like rubber buildup under the hood or what exactly that is. Take a look at the engine detail here. All the belts and hoses and all that glorious beauty there in the engine that uh, I don't quite get anymore. Honestly, that's more engine detail than what we get in an Elite now, which is pretty sad. On the nose, no Chevy markings here, at least on the nose, but it definitely is a Chevy Monte Carlo body. Number 24 and H. Scott Motorsports with Justin Marks. Napa on the hood, k Pro Series across the top window banner. You can see the details even there in the uh, the cockpit. Uh, some, some nice details in there. 24 on the roof, roof flaps do function. Elliott on the back window, DIN number 620, Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid. Take a look at the fuel cell detail. Down the side, pretty clean car here, but again, I mean, I don't, I don't think this is one you're necessarily buying for the raced version per se. You're just buying this because this is a pretty cool car nonetheless. Fairly clean tires here, though. A little bit of markings here on it, uh, obviously, from the race itself. Lots of contingency sponsors here. Cloth window net. Chase Elliott and one k and race winner sticker there. Chevy and AccuDoc Solutions on the B post. Sun Energy One and a few other sponsors in front of the rear tire. Kelly Blue Book, Valvoline on the C post. Napa Auto Parts, Mountain Dew, and Safety Clean on the quarter panel. Napa know-how, Valvoline, number 24, and the Chevy bow tie on the back bumper. And down the right side, pretty much same as the driver's side. A little bit of uh, rubber buildup here in the number here with some streaks down through it, I'm assuming from whatever liquid was thrown in Victory Lane. But overall, a fairly clean car here. A little bit of marks back here on the right rear quarter panel. But overall, fairly clean car but again, I don't think you're necessarily buying this because it's a really cool raced version per se. Just for, uh, I mean, obviously a lot of Chase Elliott fans would want this car just for the significance of this. Um, the fact that it's just a K&N car getting produced. Um, I mean, outside of Haley Deegan, how often in the past 20 years have we gotten a K&N car produced? Um, 
it, it makes ARCA cars look like they're produced very frequently. Uh, let's put it that way. So um, just really cool to have that. Uh, you know I'm always down for a Gen 4 body. Uh, that uh, definitely is a big selling point for me with this. So happy to finally have this one in my collection. Didn't get it uh, straight away when it was brand new, but uh, like I said, picked it up not too long ago in the collection. And uh, this is one I'm very happy to have in uh, the collection. So next week, like I said, we're getting back into the swing of things with uh, 2019 race wins. I'll leave it as a surprise as to what next week's will be, as to where we jump back in uh, to the timeline of 2019 with which race wins. So keep you guessing there. If you want to guess that in the comments, I'd love to hear what you think next week's might be, and I might even let you know if you're right or not. So, um, but yeah, getting ever closer to the 2020 season daytona is almost upon us i'm excited i hope you are too like i said last week we will be down there giving you coverage um shouldn't be surprising at this point as we're at most arca races the plan is to be at every one this season that was the plan last year though we did miss a couple so we'll see how well that works out this year planning on being at all of them though and uh, hopefully you're along for the ride as well for all of those so if you haven't done it already, you need to go down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a thing going forward from R&N. While you're down there, why don't you hit that big thumbs up button if you like the video. It is much appreciated when you do. But at that, this has been the R&N Diecast Review. I'm Garth Allen for Racing News Now.